Hi, this is Melissa, maker Melissa's Lab. I wanted to make a short video about why I haven't posted any videos in the last six months. Um, to start out with, I've been super busy. While I was researching ideas for videos, I kind of went down a rabbit hole and I started uh, working on contributing libraries that I thought would help with some of my videos to Adafruit because I wanted to do some of my videos about that. And one thing led to another, and I'm helping with libraries and libraries and libraries, and next thing you know, well, <laughs> I'm now working there full time. So I recently changed careers, and previously I was a web developer, but now I am an engineer, which is awesome. Although I'm doing mostly coding at this point and I'm, I'm very happy with that change. At that time I also moved as you can tell by my new setup here. Um, I went to PyCon in May and I got to meet up with the rest of the people I'm working with at Adafruit and I had a lot of fun there. In June I went to Teardown and I got to meet a lot of other great people. Um, a lot of people I'd already known through Twitter. Um, you probably are watching my YouTube channel right now, in fact, and I'd met you at Supercon and maybe a couple people at PyCon, but I actually knew a lot of people there and I thought that was really cool. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's kind of a high pitched whining from the uh, light, which is a little bit distracting, but I'm going to try and ignore that and hopefully you don't hear it because I have a lovelier mic. So I've been thinking about how I can make my channel better and I've decided that I should go with a slightly newer format on my channel. And so what that's going to result in is there's not going to be like a regular schedule anymore. Before I was uploading one video a week on a regular basis, which is good for the most part, but sometimes it just really made it difficult because I was getting into a crunch. So I noticed I was starting to sacrifice a little bit of the quality for just being able to get a video out in time and that's going to do you a disservice and I don't want to do that. By that I mean sometimes I would choose smaller projects uh, than I'd actually would like to do for my channel and they would be a little bit less interesting. Sometimes I would feel like I was getting a little bit crunched for time and I would kind of postpone the videos indefinitely while I was and instead try and switch gears and get something else out so that I could get it in time. I originally had started trying to get videos out in advance and that worked for a little bit which was why I was able to maintain a weekly schedule for a while but in the end it didn't really help. I've been trying to think of some ways to produce some good videos without experiencing any burnout. And what I've decided is I'm going to do kind of a combination. I'm going to do some smaller project videos and then I'm also going to do some larger projects that are more of a series. So there might be two, three, four, up to 20 even if it's a really large project. But that way I can still get something out semi-regularly and produce some good content without feeling crunched for time. One of the new things that's happened since I made my last video is I've gotten some new equipment. Like for instance, I have this uh, Quick 861 Hot Air Rework Station and I've been having a lot of fun with that. Um, I noticed I kind of had my equipment lined up for what I use the most to what I use the least which is the function generator actually. Let's see. Uh, another new piece of equipment I got is I have um, a new 3D printer and I'm going to do a review video on it. Well, I'll just give you a quick review. I love it. <laughs> It is definitely better than either of my other two printers. There's so many problems that I had with the others that I am not experiencing with this. Auto bed leveling is a must. Um, I would highly recommend it. So this is the Prusa i3 Mark MK3S or Mark 3S. 
I'm going to be building a cabinet for it really soon and that will be probably my next video. And another one is I have the Multi-Material 2S upgrade, the MMU 2S. Um, and I, that will also be another video where I go and I set that up for that because I don't recall seeing anybody doing putting doing a video where they put that together and I want to try and do some videos that haven't been done before such as that I think that's it and if you like this video hit like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and tell your friends about it anyway uh, I'll see you in my next video